Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this homemade Carvel ice cream cake. It's pretty simple to do, and you're going to love it. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. The first thing we need to do is start off with some chocolate ice cream, let it sit out, and soften up a bit. Start with about 20 Oreo cookies. We just want to take the filling out. So just scrape that out. Now we're going to take our 20 Oreo cookies and put it in a food processor. And we're just going to process this until they're fine little bits. There we go. Now take these crumbs and put it into a large bowl. Now we're going to use 7.25 ounces of this magic shell chocolate and we're just going to mix it with our crumbs. Now I say spread it out on a nice even layer. You can just put it on top of the chocolate ice cream when we get to that stage, um, but I'm going to spread it out on some parchment paper here. Now just move this aside and let it firm up a bit. Now come back to our chocolate ice cream that we let soften up and dump our chocolate ice cream into a springform pan. Because our Oreo crumbs is not quite hardened yet, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator to let it harden up a bit and put this in the freezer. It's okay if it hardens up all the way. After just about 10 minutes in the refrigerator, our Oreo center filling has firmed up enough so we can get it off of the paper. Like I said, this step right here, um, if you're spooning it out onto this, you don't need to go to that step. You could have done that. I want it to be like almost a perfect circle anyway, so I didn't want to spoon it out onto our chocolate ice cream. I did keep the ice cream in the freezer for a little bit, um, but it's not set or anything. So just so it didn't melt completely. Now just take our Oreo center, flip it out onto our ice cream. Now we're gonna let this sit in the freezer while we let our vanilla ice cream soften up. All right, so when our vanilla ice cream has softened up, what we're gonna do is pull out our chocolate and Oreo crumbs and add our vanilla ice cream to the top of this. Now put this in the freezer four to six hours or overnight. Now to make a whipped cream frosting, I have a bowl here, a small bowl. It has three tablespoons of cold water. And to that, what I'm gonna add is three packages of this unflavored gelatin. What we're gonna do is then add this to our whipping cream to stabilize it. So just take these three packages and sprinkle in the water. Give it a slight mix and then we let it bloom. Once your gelatin is bloomed, we're just gonna heat this up in a microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds until it becomes a liquid. Okay, it only took 30 seconds. It is a nice liquid state. We're just gonna keep it just like that. Move it aside. Uh, we can let it cool down a little bit. We don't wanna use that right away. And we're gonna move on to a large mixing bowl here. Inside this large mixing bowl, I'm gonna add three cups of heavy whipping cream. and just whisk this up until it forms stiff peaks. And by now you know how we tested if it had stiff peaks. Hold over your head, nothing comes out, it's good. Now that it's reached stiff peaks, we're gonna add our gelatin that we just made. We're also gonna add about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're gonna slowly add in some powdered sugar, just about a teaspoon at a time. So that's a half a cup of confectionery sugar or powdered sugar. And there you go, that's our whipped cream frosting right there. We're gonna put that on our ice cream cake. I've left my ice cream in the freezer overnight and now what we're gonna do is release it. Now before I pop the spring form side, I'm just gonna take a butter knife and go down the sides and try to loosen it up a little bit so it comes out clean. All right, so here we go, just loosen the sides. Right. 
voila. So now I'm gonna get it out of the pan and put it on this cardboard cake server. I'm just gonna use an offset spatula to try to get underneath of it and loosen it up, same way we kind of loosen the sides. There we go. And this is by far the hardest part. <laughs> now we're gonna just take our frosting that we just made and we're gonna cover our cake. Just put blobs and blobs of it on top. Now I'm using about two thirds of this frosting on here and we just wanna work it in. Now, if you have a turntable, it is a good time to use that. So I'm gonna put that on turntable so we can turn it as we frost it. Put a little more on here. And one of the things I'm not very skilled at is frosting a cake, as you can tell. And here we go, we have our cake frosted. I'm gonna put this in the freezer because it's starting to melt a little bit and we'll finish frosting it in just a moment. All right, so we pulled our ice cream cake out of the freezer again. So now that that's out of the freezer, I have taken the rest of our frosting, I've dyed it blue and put it in a piping bag with a star tip, a big star tip. And we're gonna decorate the rest of the cake. And um, we can just do the top and try to do Just making a blue border. It's not turning out the way I wanted it to, but um, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I think my frosting is a little bit too thick. Next time, if I do this, I'll skip the gelatin part. I think the gelatin just made it worse. All right, so I ended up taking the tip off of that, and I'm going to do around the edges now without a tip at all. Now there's one more thing we need to do to decorate our cake. I'm gonna write fun foods on there and I'm gonna give myself a blue verification check mark since TikTok is slow to doing it. I have 1.4 million followers. Where's the verification TikTok? And we're just writing fun foods with some writing gel. And since TikTok doesn't want to verify me, I will verify myself with a blue check mark. We'll make it nice and big so TikTok can see it. Now it's time to take some pictures for Instagram. I'm going to get some good pictures here. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at FunFoodsYT. I post on there just about every day even have some fun stories. So now what do you say we cut open this cake and take a look at it? Now it's time for the taste test. We're gonna try it with our tiny spoon. This is a big cake to eat with a tiny spoon. Tastes just like Carvel. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this homemade Carvel ice cream cake. It was a lot of fun making this. And of course it tastes delicious. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and check out this video right here. Until then, I'll see you next time. Ice cream sit out and uh, sit out and loosen up and what am I saying? One bowl, I have three, start over. In topping, I have frosting, that's what I gotta say. I just large mixing, mixing, I can't talk. I've left my ice cream in the freezer. Ah, in the freezer. Start over.